Welcome back, guys. I'm Balin. And I'm Theo. And today we're reacting to XG. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. I don't know. How's the song? What, what if I don't like? know? What if we don't know? Then we don't know. Well, we literally don't know. Exactly. Uh huh. <laughs> so I guess is this the new single for their upcoming album, or is it just like a B-side? I have no idea, but I'm excited yeah, but to see <laughs> what XG is up to here yes. in October. It's already They're October. They're finally going to release an album, man. The first album. In a while. In ever? A, ever. Oh, yeah, it's true. Other, ever. ever. I don't think they have anything. That's true. Other than that, it's EPs. Singles. Singles. Yeah, EPs, singles and EPs. Singles. That's you got a point. No, XG deserves an album. They do. They do, and they will. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. But before we begin, make sure to like the video if you enjoy our content and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of your old Valen here. And Theo. And very lastly, make sure to head on over to Patreon where we already got a lot of XG content. And we got new K pop content in general coming up over on Patreon from a lot of other cool groups as well, literally every single day. We got concert performances, we got live performances, we got relay dances, we got variety shows, we got funny moments, we got interviews, a lot of things. And so much more content as well over on Patreon. And again, new content coming up over there literally every single day, most of the times, more than once a day. So if you want to check that out, make sure to head on over to Patreon. That's also the best way to support the channel since yes. we wouldn't be able to do any of this without all of our amazing supporters over on Patreon making these videos possible. Nonetheless, everyone. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, guys, let's do it. One, two, three. Let's go. I was like pinging from ear to ear. I like that. Man, Coconut has the most insane style. Yeah. And that says a lot, because he recently, recently have been going crazy. Okay. Okay. This music video is so XG. It's so you get XG. me? They love going for this sort of pastel colored science fiction vibe. Yeah, they're like aliens. Yes, literally. they've uh -huh. always sort of played with those vibes, vibes and everything, always, those aesthetics. Always. And that's definitely what they're leaning into. Yes. It's quite different from what they did with... Mascara, tippy toes. No, they have gone, they have found their style. Sure. They have found their vibe. No, I'm thinking more like woke up. Like it's so different okay. than woke up. Oh, this. Yeah. Oh, this is completely like 90 degrees uh -huh. of woke up. Exactly. That's but what I'm referencing. Exactly. X she has like those two sides. Yeah, it's fun. But at the same time, they're like always kind of alien. Sure. They're kind of always alien. And always with weird. X, like X. What is Extraordinary. It Extraordinary. Yeah. Like gene. Uh -huh. They have the X gene. It's sure, sure. Insane, man. Yeah. And they love these like they've gotten into this drum and bass sound also yeah, recently. They do. Scared. What? It looks like she got grills. They had grills and woke up. But in this one here too, there when she was smiling. They like them, I guess. Guys, I'm pretty sure the uh, editors oh after effects here was just going insane. Oh the memory God. cache here must have been like 200 gigabytes. Trust me. If you work with an after effects, you know what I'm talking about. Seriously, wow. the amount of free space demanded for making a project like this is just insane. Yeah. Crazy, 
crazy stuff. Wow, Seriously. this editing, this song. Give me that boost with a little bounce back. Hey, do my dancey dance. If you call me, my girls on my throat. And at the same time, though, it's also very 2000. Yeah, very 2000. Yes. And we elevate, and we ate like a dinner plate. If you're asking me what's beyond the deep, oh, come and take a lead. Just follow my lead. It's one of a kind, not in this time. Oh, na, na. I love that Hinata's getting a lot of more recognition. True, true. More time. So cute. <laughs> Have you guys also noticed that like the producer in this song just fell in love with the pan and ping pong yeah, effect? Yeah, 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 like for yeah. this whole song, there's been so much panning and ping ponging, which is essentially when like the sound goes from one ear to another. Yeah, yeah, you gotta listen to it in like earphones to really yes. get that stereo sound. Mm -hmm. But they've really been going crazy with that. Yes. In this one. It's funny how some producers just are mixing engineers, what have you, just like they love like certain one thing. sounds. Uh -huh. they yeah, do, yeah, yeah. They do. And it works though, because it almost yeah. it almost becomes percussive. Yeah. You know, it right. almost works as a way to introduce the next part because it almost becomes like do 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 like almost like a drum true. it has a bit of that uh, effect true true I love the credits that are always like at the end of these. I like uh, that they give always credits. Yeah, but also like how subtle the font Produced is and everything. Produced by Jacobs and Chancellor. It's very cool. So it's the guy, uh, same one. Right, and there's still, as we can see here on the team, a lot of Koreans in it. True. And also some other names. I don't know where there's these. There's people from everywhere. Yes, this looks mega international. Mega international. I see names wow. from everywhere here. A, a bunch of, of uh, Koreans, bunch of Koreans. A bunch of Koreans. Half Korean, half Japanese. Right. And like obviously in like it's like forty percent Korean, forty percent Japanese, twenty percent like from other. Yeah, places. yeah. Exactly. Is, yeah, that sounds about exactly. right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. What do cute. you think about the song though? What is the your verdict? The song. What do you like? What do you think about it? It was good. I think it's I cool. I like it, but it was less catchy than the last one they did. That was what was it called? It's a little bit less catchy. What was that one called? I liked it. We never did a reaction to it, but no. I really like it. What is it called? Something ain't right. Something ain't right. It's I agree. Less catchy than something ain't right. I agree. It's in the same category genre-wise, yes. clearly, and vibe-wise mm -hmm. as something ain't right. But, but I feel hard. like yeah it is more soft more mm -hmm. cute i think it's a cool song it's i really song. like it but for like a lead single for an album if i had to choose between if you know you know and something ain't right i would definitely also pick something ain't right something ain't i right. feel like if you know you know is a very solid b-side and if you just want to do a music video for it that's totally cool that's a great idea oh, yeah. why not awesome music video exactly. really liked it but sure i get it as a lead single for an album I personally but would I don't also pick something, right? I don't think it's a, this is a lead no. single, though. Yeah, this is definitely not a lead single. This is a B-side from... Their second, second mini album, Awe. Oh. Okay, Very cool. Okay, okay. Well, that makes perfect sense then. Yeah, it's literally a B-side with a music video. Exactly. And that's and awesome. I'm pretty sure from this album, they're gonna put Woe Cop. Mm -hmm. Something like right, and if you know, you know, but like way more. I don't think. Very cool. I think. The album, by the way, as you can see here, is coming out on the 8th of November. So make sure to check that out Where? when that's coming out. It says it right down there in the description. Look, XG, second mini album, all 2024, no. November. This is October. This is October. Ah, I'm sorry. I'm you sorry. still it. Yeah, 8th of November. That's oh, right. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I think the lead single for that can be Woke Up or is just another hard song. I don't think it's any of I these think, songs because yeah. like they're waiting until the day of release or a couple of days before the release of the album to come with that. It's going to be a song that. that is like kind of like half rap, half singing. Not like yeah. more normal. Like, I don't think it's going to be this bad no. at all. It's going to be way more dark. 
Okay, like not as soft, because this was a very soft song. This is song. very soft, and something I write is very soft too. Uh -huh. I think it's gonna be walk up and make sure walk up and like a left right or mm, something. Sure. It's gonna be my, more like left right and shooting star. That could make total sense. But more crazy, because they're going for this crazy vibe. Yeah, on the other hand though, like XG has been experimenting a lot lately. So but they've I don't really, think it's gonna be cute. They have been keeping us on our tippy Keep toes. toes. You can see when it comes to XG's whole aesthetic lately, they've been changing it around a lot, sort of reorienting themselves a little bit further away from the K-pop industry and more in their own XG direction, exactly. which is interesting. Very and I, interesting. I'm, I'm very interested to continue covering them because Me I too. mean, where is this gonna go? It's such like a, just a cool group, you know, like it's such a cool from group. Japan, a, a, like a country where English isn't even that commonly spoken, no. but they sing entirely in English. They're both like got one foot in the K-pop industry, but also just a foot in something completely really different. different. I'm really excited just to see yes, what's going to happen here too. with XG. And yeah, again, they've been dressing so crazily lately. They were mega experimental with mega Woke experiment. Up, which was also a really cool song. And yeah, man, I'm, like I'm legit that. excited to see where this will go. Me too. But if you know, you know, I liked it. Really cool song. Definitely not what I would choose for a lead single, but a it's very a pleasant, sweet, sort of a little bit drum and bass, bass. kind of sounding song. Yes. That's what it is. Yes. Solid, very solid B-side, exactly. I would say. Anyhow, everyone, thank you so much for watching the video. Like the video if you're enjoying our content. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of us. And lastly, make sure to head on over to Patreon and check out all our content over there. We got a lot of XG content over there already. And there's new K-pop content coming out over on Patreon literally every single day. So if you're going to check that out and also support the channel, then make sure to head on over to Patreon. Nonetheless, everyone, see you in the next one. Bye-bye, guys. Take care. Bye, everyone. Take care. Sayonara. Wow.